Hi, welcome back. This is Miss Mango, and we're going to talk about distributed property. This is day three of our lessons. So yesterday, we talked about what happens when there's a negative. So just to summarize, when there's a negative number, we talked about using this triangle, plus, minus, minus. And if there's a positive and a negative, So two times negative one would be negative two x. And if you look here, you'll see this is a positive and a negative. Scribble those out and you know the, the result will be negative. And then this, you would just do the same. So two times four is eight. Okay, so that is what we practiced yesterday is how to deal with negatives on the inside. Today, we're gonna talk about how to deal with negatives on the outside of the parentheses. So let's do a couple of examples. So if we have negative two times x plus five, here is one example for us. What we're gonna do here is we know that both inside terms have to be multiplied by a negative. So negative two times x, negative two times five. This is gonna be our negative times a positive, which equals a negative. So we're gonna have negative two x. And this is a negative times a positive, so our answer will be negative. And two times five is 10. So we have, ne we have five negative twos. It's an easier way to looking at it for me, which would be negative 10. So that's all you have to do. And you can always use this little guy, a negative and a positive. So just scratch out negative and positive. Okay, so that's one example. Let's check out another example. Boop, boop. Here we go. Okay, so here's our next example. Negative four times what number should we use? 6x plus 3. Why do I keep using 3? I don't know. I must just love 3. Okay, once again, we're multiplying the negative 4 times the 6x and the negative 4 times the positive 3. A positive times a positive times a negative will be a negative. And 4 times 6 is 24. So we have negative 24x's. Here again, a negative times a positive is a negative, and four times three is 12. That's all there really is to it. So yeah, um, dive into your assignment and good luck. Always come back to this video if you need a little refresher and have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.